How's it going everybody? Nathaniel from RC Insight here and today I am going over the LEGO Technic Summer 2021 set. Uh, the set list and prices have been revealed so I'm going to talk about them. Uh, quickly I want to note that currently we have uh, 42126, 42128, 42129, and 42131. So presumably there is something in between these two sets and another set in between here. So we have more than four and I'm sure we will find out about them at some point. Uh, however, I'm going to go over what we know here. And it doesn't surprise me that there will be something more because you'll notice the price points. There's nothing shy of... 150 euros, so probably nothing shy of 200 US, I'd say. So I'm thinking there's going to be some cheaper sets sandwiched in between these two. Uh, but let's just talk about this. So the first one here is a licensed model. Now, I don't know exactly what this is, uh, but given the piece count and the price range, I'm assuming it is going to be another addition to their car line, similar to, well, up here you can see there's Ferrari and there's the McLaren Senna, and then there's also a Mercedes-Benz coming soon. So I'm assuming that this is going to be some licensed Technic car. Uh, what brand that is, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe a Tesla. A Tesla would be really nice. Uh, but I don't know if Tesla has, I don't know if Lego has Tesla licensing, but it's not confirmed what this is and they're always getting new licensing. Uh, so could be, it could also be another Porsche uh, possibly, though I would be surprised as there appears to be an 18 plus Porsche coming out uh, from the creator line later this year. Uh, so that's this first one. Not going to speculate too much beyond that. It's probably a car. I'd love to see a Tesla, but it could be numerous different vehicles. Then we have the heavy duty tow truck, which is 2017 pieces. I'm surprised that they're doing a tow truck with this many pieces. It's got to be a very hefty build. Um, price point's pretty good though. So this one I'm quite excited for to, to see what it looks like. I have one of the old fire trucks uh, that was probably in the low thousand piece range and it was big. So I'm very interested to see for a standard vehicle what this is going to look like because that's a lot of pieces for something like a tow truck. Uh, I, I totally understand it for something like a bulldozer or the, we had a crane a few years back. That makes sense. But for a tow truck, definitely interested to see how this looks at 200, 2017 pieces. Sorry. Uh, then we have uh, the 4x4 Mercedes-Benz Zetros. I'm going to look this one up real quick. Here we go. So the Mercedes-Benz Zetros is clearly, well, it said it was a 4x4, not a 6x6, but it's a heavy-duty truck. So that is not what I was expecting. I was thinking, oh, this is going to be a car. This is a heavy-duty truck, so it's a good thing I checked. Uh, and price point way off. So like, if you compare the pieces and the price in these two, I'm assuming that this is going to have some sort of remote control or power-up elements to it, uh, given that it's a, you know, a heavy-duty truck and there's that much of a difference in the pricing. Probably not going to be so interested in these. I've never been interested in the real big Technic truck and construction heavy duty vehicle sorts of builds, uh, but we'll see. Uh, it could be a good set and I, there's definitely got to be some additional functionality given the price point for this. So we'll have to wait and see what it is. And then lastly here, we have the Cat D11T Bulldozer at 3,854 pieces. This is a very big set, one of the larger Technic sets to date. And it's also very expensive, clocking in probably at around 600 US, I'm imagining, if it's 450 euros, which means you are looking at a set that has, again, probably a set that has a considerable amount of functionality beyond the regular technique scope. Uh, whether that includes, you know, some power up elements, a remote control element, I'm assuming there's got to be some functionality that you can physically control. Uh, remotely for this given the price point and given that it's one of these big bulldozers and that has been common for the very large construction theme Technic sets is that there's there's additional functionality to them. So overall, uh, I think this is okay. I, there, the lack of any cheap Technic sets is a little concerning to me. I think I think there needs to be something a little bit cheaper here, especially because we've gotten a lot of these big truck builds for Technic in the past, but I am interested in both the licensed model and the heavy duty tow truck. I think those will both be excellent uh, sets, particularly the tow truck I'm really excited for. I'm hoping that it's an orange or a red, but or even a blue would be okay. 
uh, but we'll see what it is. I'm, I'm really excited for those two. Might even consider the heavy-duty tow truck. We'll see. It's, it's expensive, and uh, my Lego collection is getting more and more costly by the day. But overall, I think this is going to be a decent uh, summer and even into the fall wave for Technic. And overall, I think this year's wave for Technic is very, very solid, which is which is nice to see. It's an improvement over the last few years. Uh, more of the same coming down here at the bottom, but overall uh, a much more interesting and fresh Technique Wave for 2021. So that's my thoughts on this year's Technique Wave, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, which sets you're interested in, which ones you aren't, which ones you might be most excited for, if you have any predictions as to what we're getting, particularly with this licensed model. And uh, just leave a like down below if you liked this video, found it helpful at all. Uh, subscribe to see more videos like this. I'll be covering LEGO news as soon as it comes out. And also I have plenty of LEGO reviews, speed builds, stuff like that coming as well. And a bunch already on the channel. So subscribe if you're interested in any of that. And with all that said, thanks so much for watching guys. And I will see you in the next video.